Ball from loyalist Belfast. A hostile message newly plastered on the hills, as if unionists didn't have enough to lower their mood in the 100th anniversary of Northern Ireland's existence. Unionism is in one of the worst places it's ever been. Well, you know, maybe since some of the the liberal home rule bills of the early 20th century, perhaps. It's not been a great 100-year anniversary of, of the founding of Northern Ireland, has it? I mean, it couldn't have gone much worse. What a lovely day. But the Democratic Unionists have managed to choose a new leader, Sir Geoffrey Donaldson. He's their third in two chaotic months. And his predecessor, who only lasted 21 days in the job, did have news that could cheer his successor. The DUP say Cabinet Ministers have assured them there will be a significant government move on the Northern Ireland Protocol very soon. Sounds like you've had an assurance from the UK government that they will act unilaterally. As the EU would see it, they're going to pull the cord on this. If that's what happens, that's what happens. But that's um, what you think. They've, they've indicated you'll have something to, as it were, wave to your supporters at the end of the day. I, I believe that the protocol as it exists um, is unimplementable. I believe that um, right up to the level of Prime Minister, that the British government are pretty appalled with how the outworkings of the protocol And they could act soon. Appeared. I believe that they will act in, in, in the near future, yes. I don't believe that it's going to be a long period of time. Every recent weekend has brought loyalists onto the streets protesting against the protocol. <laughs> and loyalist leaders say, without a massive climb down by the government, there'll be more of the sort of rioting seen in April and worse. What we saw here in April uh, of this year was nothing short of what we saw at the early outbreak of the Troubles here um, in the, the late 1960s. And it could be the beginning of something similar? Yes, I think most people recognise that there is a very real potential for uh, the both communities here um, coming head to head in, in serious confrontation again. But you know there will be a lot of people out there who will say that is nothing other than a threat of violence. That's putting a gun to the government's head, to the EU's head, and saying, do this or we're off again. Well, look, it would be remiss of me to stand here and to tell you that there would be no risk of public disorder. Opposition to the protocol unites many unionist forces, but the Democratic Unionist Party still managed to rupture itself mid-campaign. The DUP looks as though it's in civil war right now, doesn't it? Well, it'll just have to come out of civil war if that's the case. What's the civil war about? I'm not sure. Some, very, very often when there's a, when there, when there's a, a, a wee bit of a row within a family, and people never really remember how it started. Some are convinced this was all about key church and political allies of Ian Paisley trying to right what they considered a wrong. The toppling 13 years ago of the man who preached here. In his later years, Ian Paisley, the man who founded a church and a political party, complained about being deposed from his leadership here and from his leadership of the DUP. Those who were closest to him in those years felt they'd been sidelined by the new leadership. A sense of grievance built up. One senior DUP figure said the coup against Arlene Foster was payback time. I couldn't say whether that's the case or not, but people can speculate. A hundred years ago to the day, King George V came here to City Hall to give a speech marking the creation of the new Northern Ireland state, carved out of the map to ensure a sizeable Protestant majority. Today, Protestants here must watch that majority disappear, watch as there are checks on goods coming to Northern Ireland from Great Britain. Watch as the main Protestant party in Northern Ireland, the DUP, appears to eat itself alive. Geoffrey Donaldson may have got the leadership of that party unchallenged. His challenges couldn't be greater. Gary Gibbon, Channel 4 News, Belfast.